Southland. Cooling centers are open today across the Southland as we face yet another day of triple digit temperatures. Yeah, the heat advisories are in place for parts of LA and Orange counties as we take a live look outside. Today was certainly one to stay indoors if possible. Now the soaring temperatures are not over yet. We have team coverage tonight. Meteorologist Vera Jimenez is tracking the conditions in our weather center. But we begin with KTLA's Shelby Nelson. She's in Moreno Valley with how people are beating the heat out there. Hi there, Shelby. Hi there. Yeah, unfortunately, we still have until tomorrow at 8 o'clock for this excessive heat warning to expire in parts of the Inland Empire. But it's all the more reason to be checking on your loved ones, checking on any uh, elderly family members who are vulnerable during these types of heat events. And at last check here in Moreno Valley, 100 degrees down from about 103 when we were live first at 4 o'clock. But, uh, you know, we did talk to some folks earlier today who did it right. They were splashing around and cooling off at Lake Paris. Day two into this heat wave, and it's about finding ways to keep cool. I do this like three hours uh, every time I come out. For Riverside resident Rick Warren, coming to Lake Paris is close and convenient. He and other lake visitors aren't just beating the heat, but the weekend crowds too. We offer swimming, boating, camping, and then all sorts of day use activities. Harrison Tovar and his wife are celebrating their 20th anniversary. The kids are at school. It's just them two. Parents get to have fun, a little bit of fun by themselves. And you can't come to the lake without chicharrones. We cannot live without them. But the refreshing water is really what they're here for as temperatures climb to 104 degrees. I just went in there without hesitation because the water is just perfect. An excessive heat warning is in effect until Wednesday night for some inland areas, including cities like Moreno Valley and Ontario. Several areas baking under the blistering sun and seeing temperatures well into the triple digits. And that means more than 150 SoCal Edison customers had it rough in southwestern Riverside County when scheduled maintenance outages caused them to lose power for several hours, starting at 8 a.m. It is a much much more dangerous, um, lethal uh, heat season that goes from mid-June to mid-November. Last month was the hottest month ever recorded globally. LA's first chief heat officer, Martha Segura, says they are strategizing how to adapt to a changing climate with more severe heat events. Segura says for folks in the Inland Empire, one thing to keep in mind during a heat wave is air pollution. Heat exacerbates um, the impacts of air pollution, for those with vulnerabilities like asthma, and since pollution is somewhat worse in the Inland Empire, I would caution folks, they in particular need to be planning ahead and stay out of the heat. And power was restored for those 153 customers late this afternoon in Homeland. In the meantime, if you do have plans to go to Lake Paris, hours are from 6 a.m. to 10 p.m. during this time of year. And officials say make sure to bring enough food, water, and ice. They do have a small market there, but oftentimes they'll sell out of ice because it's so popular. And if you do plan on also bringing kids or young ones, make sure they've got their shoes or sandals because the sand gets very hot during this time of year. And now I'm going to turn it over to our meteorologist, Vera Jimenez. Vera, you know all too well how hot it gets out here in Moreno Valley. I do indeed, Shelby, but it looks like the breeze is finally starting to move into the inland area. So I hope it's a little bit cooler for you anyway. And thankfully, you're in the shade as well.